What are you doing? If you're thinking about buying a home, what are you waiting for? This could be the best time in history for you to go out and become a homeowner. Now, I don't mean to beat you up, but there's some facts that exist out there you need to know. And why is this the best time? I'll go over that in just a minute. Hey guys, Brian Chandler, Remax Alliance, Parker, Colorado again. Just uh, wanted to go over some things today. I'm a straight shooter and let me give you the skinny on what's happening in the real estate market and mortgages as of July 21st, 2020. <clears throat> now is absolutely the best time to buy a home that I've seen since 1977. If you're thinking about buying a home, get out there now, get in touch with your realtor, look at some properties, start putting some offer in because the market is changing. Inventory levels are dropping as we're seeing uh, people coming out of COVID-19. We have listings coming on, but not that many as we have buyers coming out of the woodwork looking to buy. So what that means is a seller's market is being created. When that happens, of course, prices will continue to creep up. As prices creep up, mortgage loans will have to be higher, which means your monthly payment will be higher. And as home prices increase, guess what else increases? Taxes. So your taxes are based on the sell price of a home. So once again, your monthly payment will go up if your taxes are incorporated and escrowed into your uh, monthly payment for PITI, principal interest taxes and insurance. Now, something else that's taking place here as a result of COVID-19, we have over 4 million mortgages currently in the United States in forbearance. What that means is that they took advantage of not making their house payment for 60 days. Now, the mortgage lenders at 60 days, they start asking for a broker's price opinion of those properties in forbearance, meaning they're anticipating those people will default on their loan, not make their payment, and they'll have to start foreclosure and take those properties back. Well, what does that mean to the lender? Think about if you were, if all of a sudden you're looking at having to take all these properties back and taking some losses, are you gonna be willing to just lend your money out to anybody? Well, no. So what's happened is the lenders have tightened up their requirements. So normally where you might be able to get in with a 10% down, they're saying, no, for this loan, you need to put 20% down. Or before they'd say, you need to have a credit report that is no lower than 580. Now they're saying it can be no lower than 620. So they're tightening things up there uh, when it comes to that. Now what that is offsetting is the low interest rates because since the first time since 1971 when Freddie Mac, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae are the two largest uh, lenders of conventional loans here in the United States, Freddie Mac was created in 1971, and for the first time ever, their rates have dropped below 3%. They're 2.98% as of a few days ago. What are you waiting for? I mean, this couldn't be possibly a better time before home prices continue to go up, before taxes continue to go up, before interest rates turn around and go back up even slightly. Um, you're looking at an absolute great time to, uh, to buy a home. So once again, Get a good realtor, an experienced realtor, go out, look at property, find the one, make an offer. If I can be of any assistance to you whatsoever, whether you're in Colorado or not, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you answer any questions in the process. It's relationships over transactions every time. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you in just a minute to show you an article and then we'll wrap this up. All right. Hey, Brian Chandler back. Hey, one thing I forgot to mention and what this article talks about is that in conjunction with the interest rates being as low as they are and things tightening up with the lenders as far as credit qualifications and loan qualifications, June of 2020, we saw new home purchase mortgage applications increase 54% over last year, 2019. So this is for June 2020. And of course, it's up from May 2020 because everyone is just starting to come out of the COVID-19 issue and starting to try to get back into the marketplace as we're dealing with this. So once again, what better time can you possibly have to go out and try to find a home before prices go up, before taxes go up, before interest rates might turn around and increase again, before the lenders start having to foreclose on properties 
and they're, therefore they're in a situation where they don't want to lend out any money and make it more difficult for people like you to go out and get a loan. Now, if you think you're going to go ahead and snap up all these uh, foreclosures and real estate owns, it's not quite as easy as you think it might be. So uh, that's something we can address in another um, another video as time goes on. I'm actually uh, going to apply for uh, brokerage price opinions to be a uh, local realtor that's going to be handling these real estate owned properties as the lenders take them back, whether it's Bank of America or Wells Fargo or whomever, baby. Anyway, uh, until next time, Brian Chandler, Remax Alliance, Parker, Colorado, checking out. Need some help? Reach out to me. I'm willing to help. Uh, I'm here. Bye.